Hi, I'm Joseph Caparata from Triton US, and uh, some of you may know me from Unique Corals. I'm very happy to be sharing the Triton Method with you today. The Triton Method, founded by Isan Dashti in Germany, basically takes a holistic and natural approach to reef keeping. Um, he uses ICP technology to analyze aquarists' water to give you more insight into what you need to do. Uh, so doing these gross water changes to replenish trace elements and remove waste is something that we want to try to put in the past. It does work and you can achieve success that way, but it's, it's not a very efficient or effective way. ICP technology uses ICP OES. ICP stands for inductively coupled plasma and then optical emission spectroscopy. In a nutshell, he's using an inert gas, argon, to heat a sample up to a very, very, very high degrees, 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. He injects the water sample, usually 15 milliliters of an aquarist's water, into the plasma where it is vaporized. Once it's vaporized, it is atomized. When it's atomized, all the atomants in the solution are detected in this giant machine. The detectors pick up the light that's given off by the particles as they are atomized. The software that's been programmed into the machine knows the concentrations of the atoms based on the intensity of the light. And since every atom gives a different spectrum of light, the calculations can conclude the concentration and the types of elements present in the seawater. The reason why we're not doing water changes with the Triton method is because we want to minimize variables. Every time you do a water change, you're introducing a lot of unknowns to your aquarium. These unknowns mean that you're going to have all kinds of imbalances that we can't control. So by not doing a water change, we're keeping the water that's in the tank very stable and only adding what's needed. Triton realizes that every tank needs trace elements, every tank is different, and the animals that are in the aquarium determine what trace elements are depleted and therefore which ones need replacing. So the Triton method is basically a method that involves a holistic or natural approach to reef keeping. It's got live rock, protein skimmer, fluidized reactor with phosphate removing resin and carbon, and as large of a refugium as you can possibly fit. The refugium is what's going to balance out the water and remove a lot of the nitrates and some of the phosphates from the water. Once you have a system that runs itself, so to speak, that doesn't rely on water changes to remove a lot of the nutrients, the Triton method steps in and uses ICP testing technology to replace the need for the trace element replenishment. The Triton method is different from home hobby kits or other competitors that offer testing service in the fact that it tests for 32 parameters, most of them being trace elements. The trace elements up until now have, have we haven't had a way to test for them. The hobby kits just simply don't test for things like vanadium, manganese, and things that are critical to coral biology. Um, so even the competition on the market, unless they're using ICP machines, which there are none that I'm aware of, um, it's, it's almost irrelevant because you're not comparing apples to apples. ICP technology uh, has never been used for the public sector like this, especially at this price point, and we credit Triton Labs with custom writing the protocols to be able to test for salt water on a somewhat mass scale and provide information that's extremely usable for the hobbyist at a price point that is affordable. And that is the essence of Triton Labs and the ICP technology. It's way better than any hobby test kit that we've ever come across.